at this point, I'm not even sure we have a future much beyond 2020. Hmm. So, uh, what do you think is going to happen uh, around 2020? All right, you're asking about the 2020 business. Well, what it looks like to me, starting from about now on, the first thing we're going to see is probably the financial crash. We really haven't had it yet. Then after that, the sun is building up to some sort of a mass CME, which means will be the Earth will be being bombarded by you know coronal type plasma from the sun. It will generate a massive EMP and probably wipe out most of our modern technology. Then, starting around 2017 to 2019, somewhere in there. There appears to be something, it looks like a gamma burst, but I don't think it is. What I can speculate on is I believe at the center of the galaxy, there is a toroidal type wormhole with a black hole on one end, a white hole on the other end, and it's closed in on itself. You know, with the white hole sucking on the black hole. Now, a little bit of predictive engineering in physics says that most likely the event horizon will blast out from the junction of the two, uh, you know, the black and white hole, and it will make something like an ecliptic disk. And somewhere in this period, Earth and the solar system here is due to fall into that ecliptic disk. And hmm. from there, I don't know what it is. You know, quantum physics has a little, uh, you know, a little operation that says if you have an energy field that's changing based upon the dynamic and the power of the energy field, you get an intelligence. And we may be actually looking at what mankind calls God here. I'm not sure. Because you've got an almost infinite energy supply with a massive dynamic. So as far as we're concerned, it's an infinite intelligence. Now, there's another very interesting thing. It's coming to light that we're actually two galaxies. We're a Sagittarian galaxy and the Milky Way galaxy, and the Sagittarian galaxy crashed into the Milky Way. This may be why there's some inconsistencies in our God concept. You know, the God of Abraham is somewhat violent and somewhat demanding, and the God of uh, Jesus Christ is very peaceful and very loving, which to me, a lot of other people, there is a discontinuity here. This could be explained by two beings, one from the Sagittarian galaxy and one from the Milky Way. And it looks like, from what I can vision quest, that we go into some sort of, almost like a black hole. That's why I said it, it does resemble a, a gamma burst. And what it looks like, we become part of whatever this intelligence factor is. And that sort of smells like the judgment. Whether this is all fully true, I don't know. But I uh, consider it as a possibility. 